Hi friends, in this video we are going to see open circuit and short circuit test on a transformer in order to find out equivalent circuit diagram. So, it is very difficult in a transformer to get value of resistance and leakage reactance by measuring. So, some tests are there which you can perform outside a transformer and then predict what would be the parameters of transformer and those tests are nothing but open circuit and short circuit test. So, let us discuss open circuit test first. I will draw the setup first. So, here we have this AC supply, this is auto transformer, this is voltmeter, ammeter and wattmeter. Normally, we perform open circuit test on low voltage side keeping high voltage side open circuit. So, I will write first point is OC test is performed on low voltage side or you can say low voltage winding keeping high voltage winding open circuited. Why we are doing this? It is open circuit test. So, the current that is measured by this ammeter will be very less. So, if KVA rating of a transformer is same from primary as well as secondary side, so very less current you are getting if you are applying voltage to the high voltage side. Take an example, if my KVA is say 1 KVA and low voltage side is 100 volt and high voltage is let us say 10,000. So, thing is that if I perform test on high voltage side very very low current you will get which we cannot measure through the ammeter and secondly a very high voltage you are applying again that high voltage cannot be measured by this voltmeter. So, because of the restriction on meters we are not performing open circuit test on high voltage side. Otherwise, it is ok, absolutely it will give same results, but because of the restrictions on meters, we perform open circuit test on low voltage winding. Now, as we have discussed, this current measured by ammeter is I0. So, I will list out all the voltage, current and wattage. So, V0 voltage it will measure, we will call this as no load primary voltage. Obviously, it will be a rated voltage for low voltage side. I0 is no load primary current. and W0 will be the power measured by this wattmeter 
which we call as no load losses which are nothing but core losses i0 is a no load primary current which will be very very low if the current is having a very low value obviously its square will be even lesser hence copper losses happening in the primary winding will be very less hence we can say whatever the power that it will measure will be core losses only now what are the observations we can make from this let's discuss that so from oc test we got v0 i0 and w0 W zero is V zero I zero cos phi zero. From this, I can get cos phi zero. From this, I will get phi, or you can say phi zero. No load. power factor angle phi zero is the no load power factor angle now what is the need of this i will explain this with the help of one simple circuit and a phasor diagram so the circuit is like this so in the circuit i am having parallel combination of one resistance and inductance resistance is called as core loss resistance rc and inductance its reactance is magnetizing reactance xm and current carrying by rc is core loss component of i0 and current carrying by xm is i mu magnetizing component of i0 and here it will be no load voltage v0 so the objective of oc test get the value of rc and xm so from this i can draw a phasor diagram phasor diagram will be like this i have two currents one is responsible for flux creation so i mu will come in phase with this flux phi i mu is a current carrying by this xm and voltage across xm is v0 so for pure inductor voltage leads current by 90 degree and same voltage is across this rc where current is ic in phase with this and phasor addition of ic and i mu is no load primary current i0 and phi0 is the angle between v0 and i0 from this what i can say ic is nothing but i0 cos phi0 and i mu is i0 sin phi0 if you got these two values we can get rc which also called as no load resistance r0 v0 divided by ic so 
straight away we are getting core loss resistance. One of the important part of equivalent circuit. Similarly, magnetizing reactance XM also called as no load reactance X0 equal to V0 upon I mu. This is the outcome of OC test getting these two parameters RC and XM and whatever the power measured by wattmeter will be nothing but core losses in a transformer. Let us go to second test that is short circuit test. I will first draw setup for short circuit test. Here we have AC supply for controlling it we have auto transformer ammeter and we have watt meter all meters we are connecting at high voltage side meaning we are performing short circuit test on high voltage side keeping or short circuiting low voltage winding. So normally short circuit test is performed on high voltage winding short circuiting low voltage winding why so again it is because of the restriction of this ammeter if you perform a test on a low voltage side very high current is going to flow which cannot be measured by the ammeter that we are having that is the only reason otherwise you can perform both the tests on same winding no problem results that you will obtain is absolutely same. So short circuit test is performed on high voltage winding and the readings we are getting are this VAC short circuit voltage ISE short circuit current it is comparable with the full load current and WSC are short circuit losses or you can say short circuit power now this VSC is very low compared to rated voltage. If voltage is very low, obviously the losses depends on voltage will also be less. Losses which depends on voltage are core losses. Hence, this watt meter will not measure core losses or even if it is measuring it will be very less compared to copper losses. Why copper losses will be more over here? Because of this short circuit current which is comparable with full load current. So significant amount of current is flowing through the windings hence WSC are nothing but 
कॉपर लॉसेस सो आई कैन समराइज वैट मीटर विल रीड कॉपर लॉसेस बिकॉज ऑफ हाई करंट पासिंग थ्रू वाइंडिंग एंड वोल्टेज इज वेरी लो हेंस कोर लॉसेस कैनॉट बी रेकॉर्डेड नाउ वॉट आर द ऑब्जर्वेशन वी कैन मेक फ्रॉम द शॉर्ट सर्किट टेस्ट वी गॉट थ्री रीडिंग्स वी एस सी आई एस सी एंड डब्ल्यू एस सी पावर लॉसेस हियर आर आई स्क्वेर आर लॉसेस एंड दिस रेजिस्टेंस कुड बी एनी थिंग आई अ प्राइमरी इक्विलेंट रेजिस्टर और सेकेंडरी इक्विलेंट रेजिस्टर डिपेंड्स अपॉन विच साइड इज हाई वोल्टेज लो वोल्टेज Suppose I am considering a transformer, which is step-up transformer. So in this case, what I am saying here, it will be R to E. That means high voltage winding is secondary. So therefore, R to E. It's not necessary that all the time it should be R to E. It could be R one E. Depends upon which side is primary and secondary. Now from this, I can get. R to E equal to W S C upon I S C square. So one of the parameter I obtain voltage and current are known to me. I can get impedance. So it is V S C upon I S C. from the resistance and impedance i can get reactance so reactance equal to root of impedance square minus resistance square so the outcome of this test is getting winding parameters refer to one side so if i consider both the test together what actually we have achieved actually we are getting equivalent circuit diagram of a transformer i am considering a step up transformer so low voltage side is a primary side and we perform oc test over there and we got two parameters so the parameters are rc and xm so primary side voltage is v1 this is low voltage side of a transformer i perform short circuit test on high voltage side that is a secondary and the parameters that i obtain are r to e and x to e and here secondary side voltage is v2 so this is a equivalent circuit diagram of a transformer that we obtain from ocsc test you can refer this side parameter that mean low voltage side parameter to high voltage side or high voltage side parameter to low voltage side having only one circuit we have already discussed this at the time of studying equivalent circuit diagram of a transformer referred to primary or referred to secondary so 
once you got this you can transform from lv to hv or hv to lv based upon turns ratio or emf ratio so from the ocsc test of transformer we got equivalent circuit diagram and secondly core losses that we obtain through oc test and we can get copper losses also but that won't be at full load but obviously at some fractional load so from the short circuit test we will obtain copper losses in a transformer also what is the use of all this getting this we can find out transformer specification that mean we can obtain efficiency and voltage regulation of transformer so knowing equivalent circuit diagram of a transformer is very much essential thank you